What is going on you guys? It's Extreme here, back once again as I am every single day with another episode of my Road to Max Prestige and once again as I'm going to do every single day. I'm going to know you guys saying it, but as you can see on screen on the left hand side are my Twitter and Facebook handles. If you want to follow me on there, I'm going to be using those to keep you guys updated anytime there's a change or something going on on my channel as well as making certain little announcements that I don't want to make a video for. So, yeah. Stay tuned and yeah. By the way, for those of you that are following my hardcore survival, I once again want to remind you guys, you have to stay tuned for the next two days, today and tomorrow. Things are going to get crazy. All right, I don't want to ruin anything, but I want you guys to enjoy and uh, yeah. So stick around, enjoy that series, and um, hopefully it's something you guys are interested in. Now, I'm going to warn you right now. Yeah, I know. I said I wasn't going to do it anymore. But this is some really campy shit. Um, I honestly don't have a problem with the fact that I'm camping in this gameplay because I'm using a marksman rifle, first off, that is the most inaccurate goddamn gun I've ever seen. I've tried every attachment possible and every combination. This thing just does not want to get accurate for me anymore. I don't know what they did to it, but it's really starting to piss me off, man. Um... This gun used to be really usable for me, and now not so much. So, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I gotta just use the scope, which... The scopes in this game fucking annoy me. They just... They, mm, nah. I mean, I don't mind the... You know, I like the feature of having the scope in view and, you know, having the blurred peripheral. But it just... Some of the scopes they put in this game are so god-awful, just... Yeah. Anywho, that's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is the future of gaming. And as a guy who's been, you know, paying attention to what's going on, you know, was, you know, obviously paying attention to D3, sort of, the future of gaming is very bright. And I don't say that as a guy who thinks he knows what he's talking about. I say that as somebody just sharing my opinion. There are so many good games coming out in the next two years that... I mean, you've got, well, Max, let's go with just the next year, ultimately. There are so many good goddamn games coming out this year and next year that it's not even funny. I mean, we got Destiny coming out in a very short few months. You've got the Borderlands pre-sequel. And from the looks of things, you got a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that actually looks like it's going to be a really good Call of Duty. A lot of people are making jokes about it, and I will address that tomorrow. But today, I want to kind of focus on the fact that as a whole, there are, like I said, a lot of good games coming out, and it just looks like the next-gen systems are really giving developers a really easy time making these games. As far as, like, graphically, maybe not so much, but ultimately, the overall quality of games are going to get better real soon, like, and we're finally going to see the type of games we've only dreamt about and for people that use PC I know you guys are gonna say well we've had these kind of games for a while and that is true yes you have had slightly more advanced graphical games for quite a while now go fuck yourselves um, no I, I got love for my PC players but I gotta be honest with you and I don't want to do a rant about the whole PC gamers this whole master race bullshit dude I'm sorry, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't want to spend 2000 plus dollars a year to have a good PC just so I can game on it. That's not fucking economical. That's just stupid. I ain't got $2,000 to burn, and if I had $2,000 to burn, you know what I'm going to spend it on? More games! I'm going to spend it on a TV, I'm going to spend it on a surround sound, I'm going to spend it on shit I'm going to enjoy It's not going to be obsolete completely in a year's time. And even if it is obsolete, I don't give a fuck because I spent two grand on the motherfucker. <laughs> it better still be useful in two years time. So that's my thing. And it, Again, no hate for the, anyone who plays on PC, in fact I got nothing but love for you because one, you got money. So we can be friends, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, it's stupid. No, seriously though, um, if you play on PC, you've got extra cash, you can go ahead and burn it. 
go for it, dude. You know, if you're busting your ass to make that money, right on. If you're a YouTuber, go fuck yourself, you know? Um, no, nah, I'm kidding. If you're busting your ass for your money and you can afford those kind of luxuries like a brand new computer every year, you can afford to shell out that kind of cash, then go for it. But that doesn't change the fact that the future of gaming as I see it and as I experience it is getting a whole lot better. And as a whole, not just console or PC, everybody's experience with gaming on the next gen platforms is gonna be a whole lot better than it has been on previous games or previous consoles. I mean, as you guys know, I've been playing Warframe. I actually didn't get to play a lot recently because I've been busy, you know, making videos and just kind of dealing with a bunch of other little nagging issues. I finally have had the freedom to kind of play and my god, man, the difference a month makes, because holy shit, it's a whole new environment. The, the, I swear, the minor little differences, it's like, graphically it looks better. I mean, comparable to this game right here, Warframe just in itself looks fantastic. I haven't had a chance, oh, Destiny too. Destiny looks amazing. But looks are half of the battle, like the game has to be fun. Who knows? what the games are actually going to be like. We are going to get so shitty ass bullshit games. We all know it. They're going to be those stupid ass games you look at and you're like, who thought this was a good idea? You know, and it is what it is, but there's a niche, there's a, there's a game out there for everybody. And there's a niche audience for everything. I mean, shit, Borderlands, when that first came out, a lot of people were like, what the fuck is this? And now it's one of the, the it's got a pretty significant cult following for the game. And, you know, I enjoy it, and the only reason I got it turned on to Borderlands was YouTube. So, that says something to the power of YouTube in a sense, but, I don't know, I mean, gaming as a whole is getting a whole lot better, and the, the gaming industry as a whole is starting to take things more seriously. They're not just, yeah, let's just throw this out there. Who gives a fuck? They're going to buy it anyways. I think the sales for Ghost and Black Ops 2 and the DLC sales for both kind of showed Activision, just an example here, that you can't just throw a game out there and people are going to like it. I mean, the game launched, yeah, they made a lot of business. They didn't make any money on DLC for the most part. They lost a lot of money on what they ex well they didn't lose any money but they expected to make a hell of a lot more off of both games and they didn't they made more money oddly enough off of modern warfare 3 than they did ghost and fucking black ops 2 now my information is old so for all i know it could be very inaccurate as almost all my information is but if what i heard and read is true then that sucks but that explains a big part why they went to three-year developmental cycles. And I hope all games go to a three-year developmental cycle because with the next-gen consoles, you don't have the option to get it wrong. Because audiences, you know, if the, if there also there's if there's truth to the rumor that they're going to be upping the price by about ten bucks on games, fuck, you really don't have a chance to get it wrong because you're not going to have people buying games for an extra ten dollars. Fuck, man, that's that's a DLC right there. That's money out of your pocket right off the shoot. So, ten bucks up front. Who's gonna be willing to pay that? I know I won't. Hell no. I don't give a fuck how good the games are. You out of your goddamn mind? You think I'm gonna pay an extra ten dollars for a piece of shit? Fuck that. It better be the best goddamn game I ever play. Yes, I'm cussing a lot, but I want to get my point across, and that is that I don't think that there's any truth to that rumor that game prices are going to go up because if they were going to do it it would have already happened honestly god truth it would have already happened but i see special editions costing way more than they have in the past that's a fact and i think that's one of the reasons why they've kind of been holding off on announcing any of the special editions for destiny borderlands call of duty i don't know what other games are out there because i really don't have any vested interest in them right now but um honestly guys I'm excited for the future. I can't wait to get my hands on the games I've mentioned previously. Uh, Borderlands alone, even though it's still going to be on a next-gen console, I'm looking forward to that game a lot, and I hope it's good. 
because it's going to be the last Xbox 360 game I buy. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you did enjoy this episode. Not a really beastly game here, but we're slowly making our way to the next Prestige. I will see you guys tomorrow for another one. Until next time, adios. I'm not a fan of professional gaming, but I mean, still though, dude, it's a it's a fucking event. Like, dude, if that was WrestleMania, okay, going to my realm here. If that was WrestleMania, I'd kill a bitch. I'm not even gonna lie. If, especially if I was working the card, which <laughs> not gonna happen. But if I was. I swear to God, I would kill whoever did that. Rip their freaking throat out with my bare hands. I would be livid. Livid. So I can only imagine how the competitors at the event felt because that's demoralizing and it also kills any steam they may have been building up going into or in the middle of a match. I don't know when it happened. If my information is correct, it was after a match had already taken place.